Alright guys, today I've got another install video here. Um, this is on my Galaxy S4 and I'm going to show you guys how to install, let me show it to you actually, a very, very cool ROM, if I can find it on here. Um, actually, let me refresh here, there we go, should be right up here. It's called Rage ROM and that is the S4E.zip edition there and this is by uh, an awesome developer named Hicks, Gary Hicks actually, and he's a creator of Rage ROM. So we're gonna, that's the ROM you're gonna need. You're gonna need to install it. I'm gonna give you guys uh, directions to the uh, form where you have that, and it's gonna be down in my video description and down below. Uh, so you're gonna need to have that. Also, you're gonna wanna have Super Sue um, or Super User. And then you're going to want to have a way to get into uh, recovery. I have Torp Recovery installed, which I installed through this application right here, Goo Manager. I'm also going to use it to reboot to recovery. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. Um, this is Torp Recovery or Team Win Recovery Project, um, which is a really good recovery system. I like it a lot. You can also use Clockwork Mod Recovery if you prefer. Um, but we're going to show you guys how to install this with Team Win. So, once we boot up here, first thing you're going to want to do is come in here and pick all your stuff here and do a backup of whatever you're running currently. Um, I'm not going to do that right now just because I already have a backup here from a couple days ago that I'll restore to if I need to. Um, then you're going to go to Wipes and you're going to actually hit Advanced. And we gotta make sure that we wipe Delvic system, data, and cache. Um, it's very important that you also wipe the system out uh, just because um, that's what the directions on the form say. So it's always good to follow the directions. Very, very important. So now that we have this set up right here, we're just going to go ahead. We don't want to hit SD card. We don't want to wipe off our SD card, OCD, G cable, preload, none of that stuff. Just what we have selected right here. So let's go ahead and swipe across, and it will wipe all of those things off for us. Okay, then we're going to go back. And that's all done. Very good. Go back again. Go back again. Now we have a clean slate here to install our ROM. So we're just gonna go to installs, and then I'm gonna scroll to my SD card. It's just a file manager, a fire browser right here. And then my ROM, and here it is. So RAID ROM, click it, and flash it. So we're gonna let this thing flash. There you go, Team Rage, that's pretty cool. We're gonna let this thing flash, and then I'll come back to it. Okay, so the install has finished. Now, there's one last direction we really got to know. Actually, two things. First of all, battery life. It's very important that you have good battery life when you're doing this process. You don't want this to die in the middle of it. Just always remember that as a side note. The next thing is, is the developer says that this has to have a TouchWiz kernel installed for this to work. So, if you had Clockwork Mod, or not Clockwork Mod, I'm sorry, if you had CM 10.1 or something like that on your phone before, and now you're installing this, you may not have a TouchWiz based kernel. So it's very important to know that. If you're coming from TouchWiz already, or stock, it should be fine. But I would recommend just installing this because it's a great kernel anyway. So instead of rebooting here, we're going to go back. You can if you have just stock, but we're going to go back here. And we're going to go to installs again. We're going to level up. I'm going to see if I can find this where I downloaded it at. Yeah, right here. So this is this is KT SGS4 TouchWiz Jelly Bean Verizon and this is a kernel. Um, this is a kernel that is called KTunes Easy. I don't know how to say that. He writes funky. But it's TouchWiz kernel. So what we're going to do is go ahead and flash this and this will flash very, very fast. Boom, done. No wipes, no nothing at this point. Now we got our kernel and our ROM installed. Now we can go ahead and reboot. Now, first boot up is going to take a little while, um, but it is an S4, so probably not too long. If it takes longer than 10 minutes, something went wrong with your flash, and you guys need to go back and restore your Android backup. But otherwise, everything should be smooth. Um, 
Lastly, I just want to see what our boot animation is here, if it's got something different. And it doesn't look like it, just the, pretty much the basic Samsung here. Um, just glowing. There you go, pulsating. So there it is. Um, I'll get back to it once I get it set up, and we'll show you guys the ROM. Alright guys, here we go. We fully booted up, and I've gone through my setup really quick. Um, so what I want to do is just go through this. This is Rage ROM. You can see this looks exactly like stock. I mean, it looks like out-of-the-box stock. Um, that's what's really cool about Rage ROM, um, in my opinion, is that basically the look is, basic, is stock. It's stock. But it has all the customization of a custom ROM. And that's what makes Rage ROM and ROMs like this cool. And what's nice about it is that you get to keep all the cool features. And a lot of custom ROMs, well, you'll lose out on some of the features that come with the Galaxy S4. But when you have this kind of custom ROM, you get the features that comes with the phone along with all of the cool customization. So let me just go through a couple things really quick. Um, you can see a lot of apps in here. These are some of my apps I've downloaded. So, but otherwise it's pretty much your stock applications with it. This is a, an app though that comes with when you put that um, kernel on. And it is an app that is really, really cool um, that allows you to super customize your CPU um, in tons of awesome ways. I have a video on it if you guys haven't seen it before. It's really, really good. So check that out. It has to do with overclocking your CPU. That's the app I use. Um, but back to the ROM here, you guys can see that it is pretty uh, standard looking, um, nothing really customized here. Um, but what's really cool about this phone is, is this, let me show you here, if I can find it here, I think it's under my device. Right here, this is the feature that makes this ROM fun, and it's called ROM Control. This is where all the customization and all the fun little tweaks you can do on a phone come in, right here. So let's go ahead and check out a couple of these. Um, let's see what we got here. So clock, I want center. Boom, puts a blue clock in the center. Uh, let's see what else I can do here. Alarm icon, choose battery icon. All right, good, this is one of the ones I wanted. So we're gonna do, what about, uh, let's do speed. What does speed look like? So now it looks like a speedometer up there with the percentage, it actually has the percentage in the battery. Um, you can also change the color of all these things down here on your different batteries and things like that. Reset, like circle, colors, I mean enable battery bar. So battery bar will hide and then I think if I show it again it should enable. Is right there on top and you can see that it is a little blue bar that tells you um, how much battery you have left in a bar style graph. So that's really cool. Um, Notification panel colors. Huh, interesting. Not tried this. Let's say what's hollow will go blue. Uh, that's not changing. Um, I'd have to play with that to really see how that all functions, but we'll just play with it from there. And just some different animations and some other things. But this, like I'm saying, guys, this is the customization that makes. Uh, this ROM, Rage ROM, really cool is that ROM control right there. Otherwise, pretty much stock, but it just gives you options. There's options to customize your device with ROM control, and then super ton more with this uh, KT or K tweaker for your kernel. There you go. That is basically it. Everything is fully functional. This thing works great. Um, no issues whatsoever. Everything that worked on your stock S4 works on this, plus more which is what makes it great. So thanks a lot, Gary Hicks, for making this Rage ROM for us. Really appreciate it. Hey, as always, guys, check me out right up here at RootJunkie.com. Lots of great stuff on there, info, videos, all kinds of goodies. You can follow me on Facebook or Twitter right over there, and we will catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.